Hi guys, welcome to my hangar. Today I'm gonna review some cams for you. As I already did last fall. Last fall I had the Amkov SJ5000 with the misleading name. I had the Mobius, I think it was the GoPro 3, the normal one. Yeah. And today I have the update from the Amkov SJ5000 Plus, so it's a bit better than the black one. And I also have the Runcam HD, which is a competitor of the Mobius. And <laughs> just for for fun, I have this Flycam 1 HD 720 or something like that. Just wanted to show this because uh, in the in the mini racing days, this tiltable lens would be a good idea, let's say for a run cam. Uh, let me start with comparing Mobius to run cam. You might already have seen some of the reviews. Uh, they look identical, uh, just the, the lenses uh, are mounted differently. For the run cam it's symmetrical while the black Mobius here it's not in the center so that's a, a plus for the run cam on the upper side you have the same button design uh, the, the heat spreader is just their logo and not these misleading arrows so I'd say that's a, a small plus for the run cam both cam uh, with a plastic cradle that you can use for mounting but most of the times so I just strap it on my mini quad on top here. I have this foam, this foam uh, triangle thing here, uh, and uh, velcro tape, and let it sit here in this angled manner. So yeah, uh, works perfectly on mini quads, and also works really well on on my Easy Star 2. On the Easy Star, I used the run cam also as live out because on a on a glider it doesn't matter that you have some additional latency from from the live out of such a thing, and also the light handling is not so uh, important uh, as if you were flying proximity close in, in shadowy areas and in bright light. One thing maybe that bothers me for multicopter flying, uh, fast flying in proximity is the frame rate of only 30 frames. All of the smaller cams uh, have only 30 frames. Um, and they even, I'm not sure if I read it in reviews or if, if they write it uh, in their own manual, this cam tends to drop a few frames now and then. And that makes it look a bit, a bit jerky at some points. So that's I'm really addicted to really smooth videos and normally you, you get this only with with 60 frames. I think it's about the same for the for the Mobius, so GoPro 60 frames videos just look very smooth. So that's the point or that's the that's the thing where the new Xiaomi Yi or however it's pronounced uh, will stand out from the other cheap cams with the 60 frames capability. And also the, the real SJ5000, which I was eager to test, but the Gearbest, the guys that sent me this, uh, didn't want to send me two cams at once. They said, if this gets a good, good review, you're gonna get the SJ5000 for, for review. So let's, you see where this goes. So let's do a short unboxing of the run cam. You already saw the cam, it comes with a pr protection cap, has a USB cable and it also has a uh, live out cable with an adapter to a uh, chinch cable. Yeah. Yeah. The adapter is a smart idea if you just want to test out the live out or if you plug it to your TV. You can use this uh, this towel and the instructions. Yeah, for charging you just charge it with your mobile phone charger for example. 5 volts USB charger. Charges about 
one or two hours maybe. Uh, the battery life is set to be 88 minutes. So you maybe want to charge it before each extensive flight session. 8 to 10 mini flights are sure okay. With this be used to life out, it should get charged. So not so much of a battery issue then. Uh, and the other really short unboxing of the Amkov, which comes in a GoPro look-alike case. Unboxing. It has this GoPro 3 compatible housing, but I didn't test this one, but the last one from the black here, it just looked so identical to the GoPro 3, so uh, in my, on my vacation we did some snorkeling and I used this Amkov case for another small camp and it was just not waterproof, so even if they look completely the same as the GoPro ones, uh, I would really test them in your in your bathtub. <laughs> it's it's just terrible if such a cheap thingy here can win your cam. No, I don't like it. Uh, now you get the standard accessories like USB cable, cheap USB charger. You have the manual here. Uh, the really only one important thing in the manual is uh, telling you the Wi-Fi password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Now I noticed one one nice thing. It has this frame, and this has to be also GoPro compatible. Yeah, well, that's that's really nice. So <laughs> that's a really good uh, surprise to me because this damn frame from the GoPro, at least last time I checked, it did cost 40 or 50 dollars. I mean, it was small and the bigger frame and such a landscape. But yeah, it's really nice to have another frame for these caseless shots you want to mount on a tripod. And this thing here is already large enough to access the plugs and to access the storage card. Whereas on the, on the expensive frame that I have here for the GoPro, uh, I had to cut out in my ugly style the storage card accessory. So that's a plus. I like that. So with the accessories alone, uh, that are GoPro compatible, you might have some value to it. Yeah. You get some angles and stuff like that. Yeah, and even that's another nice tripod mount. That's another thing that will cost you around ten dollars for a GoPro accessory. No, I wouldn't use the waterproof case. It may not be waterproof. Okay, so with my perfectly professional testing rig here, I just compared five cams. I uh, did the standard sunlight versus dark areas test, and I'm really sure. I'm really sure you will notice that the, the smaller ones uh, don't handle light changes so well. And that's where the GoPro really stands out with smooth transition from bright to dark and the other way around. Not so sure about the arm cups, but they, I think they don't handle this as well. I set all of the cams in 1080p 30 frame. Oh. And the GoPro was set to wide angle. The new arm cuff should also be wide angle. Uh, the black one is a bit more narrow. The Mobius is wide angle and the run cam also is a bit narrower. So let's have a look at the material.
Okay, so let's do a quick weight check, weight comparison. Starting with the run cam at 42 grams. The Mobius at 40 grams. Hero 3 Plus, 72 grams. Amkov 79, Amkov 2, 79. So I'd say these are about the same. What are my thoughts on the cams? I put this in the order here that I that I like them, that I think the quality is. Of course, the, the GoPro stands out, but it's also the most exp expensive cam in this region. So that's no surprise. And there are already some guys that use GoPros on mini quads for really risky flights and material looks great but I'm not so sure if I'm gonna be one of those guys risking the GoPro on the mini quad. You could use protective lenses and protective cases and such things but yeah. And it's also a bit heavy for a mini quad. Very popular is the Runcam HD for usage on mini quads. The thing that uh, bothers me a bit is the wide angle, which is not as wide as it should be for really fast proximity type flying. So images tend to get a little shaky because it's a narrow, narrower field of view. Um, and the settings in the software, there is a software uh, you can't do as much as with the Mobius. For example, in the Mobius I set it up to have auto record. So you just power it on and it starts recording, which is nice and convenient. You can do it here, but yeah, it's, it's okay. So all in all, uh, it's a better image quality, I'd say. It's more sharp than the Mobius. Yeah, it's really cheap. And I think it would be more suitable for flying with FPV planes, maybe. Because there, the narrower field of view is a bonus. Because you're up high on and, and fly more steady. So flying with it on my Easy Star was really fun. Uh, I may just link you a few uh, scenes of, of these flights. Mobius still is great. I have it now almost a year and it really works well. Battery still holds up to it. So definitely could. Uh, not so nice is you have a huge wide angle, but on the edges you get it a bit blurry. Yeah, to these Amkov things, I'm not so sure. I don't like the fact that they label it SJ5000, which is misleading because the SJ ones are really, really outstanding cams. Uh, to be honest, I didn't want to review this, but they sent it to me and and kind of pushed me into reviewing that. What surprised me that this. Even if it looks almost identical, it has a bit better quality, more wider angle. And one cool thing about the Amkovs is their almost lag-free Wi-Fi preview picture. The 60 frames uh, on 27p is not really usable. I think it crops out from the center. Uh, doesn't really look nice. Wouldn't, wouldn't try using the 60 frames modes here on these cams. I would really love to try the Xiaomi Yi as uh, the images and the movies I thought really look nice. For example, check out Trinko's uh, Cameron Highlands video I saw yesterday. It really looks nice and smooth and 60 frames. The, the real SJ5000, which gets good credit and good uh, reviews all over. So for the moment, I did a lot of flights with my Runcam HD on the mini quads. And once you've used it, it re it's really nice. Don't use it as a FPV cam on mini quads. The latency will kill, kill you or at least your props. One more thing that stands out uh, on the run cam is it has a copper painting on the inside which should block uh, EMF which would uh, disturb your easy UHF for example. It has some shielding inside which the other cams don't have so much. My best guess is that the run cam has the lowest and I'm not so sure about this one. GoPro is okay, GoPro 3 improved a bit over GoPro 2 and 1. 
and run him. Yeah. So if you plan on going long range, you maybe do some shielding anyways. Okay, so thanks for watching this review. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave me some comments, uh, suggestions, which other camps did I miss maybe? Uh, what do you think about the camp quality? Which, which, is, which of the camps here is your favorite and why? So thanks for watching, bye!